My story starts when I was 17 years old, um, being diagnosed with osteosarcoma, a tumor in my right elbow. During my 18 months here at Children's Hospital, it was really tough uh, to lose my hair and to feel sick from the chemo. But one of the bright spots of being here at Children's was when the athletes came by to visit us, especially the Marquette basketball players. And legend has it, it all started back in the 70s with Al and his players. It's a good thing for me to know that Coach McGuire's legacy still stands. Because when you talk about Marquette basketball, the one that they talk about more than any is Coach McGuire, and he deserves it. Coach was a life coach. He wasn't just a basketball coach. Al was the life coach, and the, the thing that he did with Children's Hospital and then turning into Al's run, that's the most uh, proudest thing. I think one of the most important things in Coach's legacy that could ever be remembered of him. We are so excited about the basketball players coming over to the hospital to visit our patients. And when notable individuals like the basketball players will come to their room and talk to the kids and interact, you can't imagine what that does for the children. And when you think about activities like Al's Run, it's just really amazing because when these families are able to witness that outpouring of support of the community, I think it helps them know that we are very legitimate and we really are very well respected and supported by this community. Well, Al's Run you know, it really benefits Children's Hospital and, and the families uh, that partake in the services that are there. And it's, and it, it's really good, though, also for Milwaukee. Uh, celebrating because you know Children's Hospital really is an asset. It's a jewel we have here in Milwaukee, and you know I look at the race as a celebration of that asset. The Briggs and Ale Run is one of the most amazing events we do in the year, and when you can stand on the stage in front of Jay Zoo and look down Wisconsin Avenue with all these wonderful people who are there in the best interest of children and children's to allow us to do what we need to do to make kids' lives better, to reach our vision if we want the kids of Wisconsin to be the healthiest in the nation. I'll tell you, it's humbling, but it's also one of the most exciting things I do. And so um, that outpouring of community support, both from families and then major corporate sponsors, knowing that they care about us, with smiles on their face and strollers and wheelchairs and all the things that happened that day, it's, it's just amazing. I think Coach would say it shows that caring goes a long way in being there for other people and being a difference and making a difference. And it's good to know that it's still going on and he would be very, very happy about that. Not only did my 18 months of care at Children's Hospital inspire me to become a nurse there. But since my recovery in 2003, I try to participate in Al's Run every year. I feel that this is my, my way that I can give back to the kids in Children's Hospital while giving back to the hospital that saved my life. <laughs>